Hello, I'm Tom from Archangel Manufacturing, Gunsmith here. Um, today we're going to do an instructional video on installing the AAP 1022 stock on your Ruger 1022. What we're going to do is start with making sure that the rifle is cleared and unloaded. That's the number one thing to do. After we've done that, you're going to need a couple tools. You're going to need a screwdriver and you're going to need a punch to push the pins out. Included with your AAP 1022 stock is a package with your necessary hardware. In that package you have an Allen wrench that goes to the included cap screw that holds the action in. There's a couple of Uncle Mike's style sling studs for the front and rear that you can optionally put in or not. An extended mag release and a buffer for your bolt. So once we've made sure that the rifle is clear, we'll set it on its top and unscrew the action screw. Now, I want to note that this rifle is a youth model and it does not have the forward barrel band on it, forward barrel band. They are on most 1022s. Most of them come as a carbine with the barrel band. All you need to do is loosen the screw and it'll slide right off the front, take it off, set it to your side, you won't need it, you won't need to re reuse it. Now you've loosened your action screw you want to center your safety in the trigger guard. If you don't center the safety, it'll dig into the wood and you won't be able to get it off. So center the safety, lift up on the action, or the stock, pull the stock off. These pins will fall out of your rifle. If you have a pin fall out, just push it back in. Some of them are looser than others. I've actually gone through and put a little bit of scotch tape on the, on the uh, trigger pins so they don't fall out and we can make this a little smoother here. So the first thing we're going to do is install your extended mag release. By doing that, we're going to take your punch and you're going to push from the left side of the rifle, push the pin to the right side, and it usually will pop right out. Some of them are a little tighter than others, but they usually will push out by hand with hand pressure. Reach around inside the mag well and depress the mag catch to retain it in there. It's under spring pressure. It'll pop out if you don't, or can pop out. Take the old mag catch out or release out. Take your new one and put it back in. Find the slot there and hold it in place. Put your pin back in. If you put your finger on the mag catch and then lift up and move the mag release around, you can kind of organize, line up the holes. And then you can see that in place. The AAP 1022 stock also comes with a buffer. The easiest way to do it is to press out your trigger pins, set them aside, pull your trigger housing out, and then press out your standard bolt buffer. They're a steel buffer from the factory. Now you take your uh, polymer buffer and slip it in the hole and get it going. And it, 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 uh, if your pin was tight, coming out, the polymer buffer is going to be pretty tight going in also. But get it going and you're going to take your hammer and you tap it across. When it gets to the other side, you want to reach inside there and get it lined up with the other hole. Use your, you can use your punch to do that. Don't force it in there. You want to make sure you get it lined, lined up with the other side before you go driving it across and then don't hit your receiver. If you want to take your steel buffer, you can use that as a pin to keep your hammer away from your receiver and tap it in flush. So it should be flush on both sides. Now your bolt buffer, your polymer bolt buffer is in there and that actually protects your receiver from abuse from shooting. Once we've got that installed, then we can take your action and install it into the stock. When installing the action, any ten, a 1022 in any stock, they go in at an angle. So you want to, what I do is I set it on the table so you have a good solid surface, slide the rear in, pushing down on the barrel. Uh, that's another point. You got to make sure that you have the safety center or it'll stick in the stock. So you want to center your safety and then pivot it in and pull it together. Now you can see here it didn't actually hook. I wasn't pushing down hard enough. That's a good example of how not to do it. Push down solid on it. 
and push it in place. And you can see that the rear of the receiver is actually hooked down in there. The AAP 1022 stock was designed to be tight on the action. Um, the tightness actually creates accuracy by acting as bedding. When you have a tight fit from the stock to the action, you gain accuracy. So that's what the reason why it presses into the stock like that. So now once you've pressed it in like I did, find your cap screw, your action screw, and you screw it right down in there. It'll go, it's a captured screw, so once it goes through the washer, it will, won't fall out when you're cleaning your rifle. Push it down, get your Allen wrench in it. You're turning it to the right to tighten it. If you go left, you can feel, you'll hear it, you may have just heard it click, and that's the end of the threads. So it clicks, and then you can start tightening it up. That way you know you're not cross-threading the threads. Run it down. <clears throat> A little longer lever, you get a little bit of snug on it. You don't have to over tighten this, you know, just go finger tight and you're good. That is basically your basic installation of a Ruger AAP 1022. The AAP 1022 stock can be assembled in two different configurations a free float, complete free float um, forend, meaning there is enough, there's from the front of the action all the way forward, it does not touch the barrel. Um, depending on your rifle itself, will determine whether you need upward pressure on the barrel um, or not. Um, what I recommend is putting it together without the tensioning device, see if it shoots, and then if you want, you can put this, if you don't like the accuracy, you can put the tension device in there and then play with the tension. This tensioning device goes, there are two holes here in the, in the, um, in the stock and two little pockets. You can put it in either one of these slots, either one of these pockets, I should say, with these holes. The tension device has an Allen wrench screwed into it. And when you turn this Allen wrench, it jacks the two parts apart, putting pressure on the bottom of the barrel, putting upward pressure on it. And you can tune your stock pressure, upward pressure, on your rifle to what your rifle needs. Um, it's pretty easily said that every rifle is different and every ammunition is different. So it's something that having the adjustability is um, a huge benefit. So you wanna take the block and grab it with your finger and your thumb and push it in there and push it down into the pocket. And then your standard insulation, just like I just demonstrated, uh, once you got it all installed and all tightened down, um, when you go to the range and doing your test firing, and you're sighting it in and you get it all sighted in and you start trying different ammunition, trying to find out what's the most accurate, you can put your Allen wrench into the hole here and put tension on it or back tension off and fine tune your upward, um, upper pressure on your barrel. The AAP 1022 stock um, is, a, is a fairly tight fit to the action intentionally. Um, it was designed to be a snug fit to a stock 1022 trigger housing. When you put an aftermarket in it, like this Timney here, there is a small spot in the back of the action right underneath the ledge here that needs to be relieved. Not on the action, but in the stock. Um, it's, it's not very much you can put, when you put the rifle together, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute, you can kind of see in there where the plastic gets upset inside the stock and you'll need to get in there and scrape it out. Um, I would recommend using either a pocket knife or a Dremel tool with a rotary burr in it. The rotary burr is much faster and more efficient, but if you don't have it, a pocket knife will work. Um, a wood chisel would even work, a very small wood chisel would, would work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this rifle apart and show you the spots we were discussing just now. The Timney trigger, as mentioned earlier, right here has a little bit more material and they put it there just for the purpose of accuracy. What you want is to pull that receiver tight into the, to the stock and most factory stocks and even aftermarket stocks are loose right in this area for ease of assembly. So it was made a little thicker, a little heavier here to take up that extra space and to give you more accuracy. Our stock was made tight to fit snug on a, on a factory trigger guard, so when you go to put the Timney in or uh, Kid or anybody else uh, 
they're going to be oversized. The other spot that needs relieving is right here on the sides of the trigger. The most aftermarket triggers are a little bit thicker there than they are on the factory one. So when you go to relieve your AAP stock, you're going to need to relieve right on the insides of the, um, of the stock here at the back of the trigger, one, right on each side of it, and the tongue that goes into this slot right here. So that's the installation of the AAP 1022. If you have any further questions, if you need help or on the installation, please don't hesitate to call us or go on our website for more information at archangelmanufacturing.com or find us on Facebook at Archangel Manufacturing.